My name is Angela Dalia Ayala. I rushed spring 2014. My major is teaching and learning, and I am currently the president here at the University of Houston for Kappa Delta Chi. Kappa Delta Chi, also known as Kitty Chi, was founded on April 6, 1987 at the Texas Tech University by four young women who had a vision of leaving a legacy. Katie Kai was one of the first Latina based sororities chartered at the University of Houston on December 15, 1993 by nine beautiful sisters. The requirements to be in Katie Kai is for you to attend their open rush events, have a 2.5 GPA, fill out their application, and from then on if you get invited, then, uh, you can attend their closed rush events. is not all that hard, but you do have to have organizational skills and time management. Um, you should invest in a planner for sure. Uh, it's gonna be like your best friend so that you can keep tabs on your tests and on their rush events so that you're not missing out on anything and that your academics aren't being hurt. Academics are the most important thing, especially to me personally. I think that we're here at the University of Houston for a reason, and that reason is to get a college degree. So definitely academics are priority, not just to me personally, but also to sorority. Uh, as new members and also as actives, you, are, uh, have to, you have to do study hours as mandatory requirements, so attend study hours every week. So to keep on top of your academics, um, and balancing it out, it's tough, but it is manageable. Um, you have to learn how to prioritize. You need to be looking at your calendar every single week, knowing when you have events coming up, so you have make that time to study and also have time for those events. And just in case you forgot you had an event coming up, you can always ask for permission to not go to that event because at the end of the day, your academics are your priority. Service officer, it basically I'm in charge of providing as many service opportunities to the active house, and I like to focus on some that they they haven't heard of or nonprofits that I know that if after they graduate they're gonna willing to cope, go help out, have a lot of service opportunities and impact our community in every shape and form. Since this is the fall and the falls, we try to do our flag football tournament. This is our 11th annual flag football tournament and all funds here goes to the American Tax Society. So here at the University of Houston, we don't only revolve around our own sisterhood. We like to get out of our comfort zones and join in with other Greek organizations. And one of the biggest events that we always look forward to is the MGC Showcase. And what the MGC Showcase is, is a very fun, friendly competition within all the organizations that fall in the Multicultural Greek Council. And it allows us to really show to the community who we are, what we represent through dances and stepping and strolling and other various talents that those members might have in their organization. Um, Capital Tokai actually helped me a lot going into the workforce. Um, being in Katie Kai, you learn to work with one another, not only as sisters, but as professionals. So definitely going into the workforce and going into a professional setting, it definitely allowed me uh, to understand how to work with others and how to work as a team and how to make sure that you're not crossing boundaries that you're not supposed to be crossing. So it definitely taught me a lot of true life skills that are gonna be needed for the future and I'm using them now being a college graduate. Even though Capital Takai was founded as a Latina organization, as time progresses, diversity progresses, and that's something that Capital Takai wants to follow. Um, here at the University of Houston, we actually fall under the Multicultural Greek Council, and it's not only here at the University of Houston, but all different chapters at different universities also fall under the Multicultural Greek Council. So 
being diverse is something we're very proud of and we want to gain more diversity as time progresses and so we really hope that girls no matter what backgrounds that want to be part of Katie Kai um, because at the end of the day our goal is the same we want to graduate we want to get our bachelor's degree and we want to become leaders in the future and we want to make a difference and we want to do something with our lives and that's something that Katie Kai stands for